Since Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this repair safely, a warning icon will appear when you should use caution. Whether your repair is simple or complex, you'll be more successful if you break the procedure down into steps, making it more manageable. I'll take you through this part replacement repair one step at a time. To replace the basket assembly in your GE washer, these are the tools you'll need. Before you begin the procedure, shut off the water supply. Unplug the power to the appliance. Remove the drain line from the wall. Remove the hot and cold water supply lines from the inlet valves. Remove the fabric softener dispenser. For the next step, the auger and base have been taken out of the appliance for better visual. Align the raised bump with the opening on the auger. Use the screwdriver to puncture through the inner shaft of the auger. Then twist clockwise until the auger releases and lift it out. This will be difficult. Be sure to hold the basket from rotating. Unthread the 11 millimeter bolt. Lift out the base. Unthread the 33 millimeter nut. This will be difficult. Pull out the Belleville washer. Unthread the two screws on the panel. Any missing screws can be ordered through the links in the description below. Pull the panel out from the bottom and slide it to the right to free it from the backsplash. Slide the backsplash back and tilt forward. Note the orientation of the wires and use the needle nose pliers to remove them from the capacitor. You can release electricity in the capacitor by placing a screwdriver over the two terminals. Be careful not to let your hands come in contact with the shaft of the screwdriver. Carefully slide the capacitor to the left. Noting the orientation, unplug all the harnesses on the circuit board except for the switch harness. Remove the hose. Depress the tab on the data port and push down to remove it. Unthread the ground screw to the main harness. Now remove the two quarter inch screws. Insert the putty knife approximately eight and a half inches from the edge on both sides and press in firmly to release the spring clips from the panel. Lift off the top panel and remove the wire harness retainer. Noting the orientation, unhook the eight tabs around the tub cover and lift it out.
Now lift out the basket. To install the new basket assembly, place the basket into the tub and align it with the spline gear. Align the tub cover with the lip of the tub and snap the eight tabs into place. Place the Belleville washer on the transmission shaft with the green dot facing upward. Rethread the 33mm nut going counterclockwise. Align the base with the spline shaft and set it into the appliance. Rethread the 11mm bolt to secure. Set the auger over the tabs and twist counterclockwise to lock it in place. Align the dispenser to the grooves of the auger and press firmly to secure in place. Set the top back on the washer and attach the harness retainer. Align and firmly press down on the front of the top to secure it in place. Rethread the two quarter inch screws. Rethread the ground screw to secure the ground wire to the top of the panel. Push the hose over the sensor. Now plug in all the harnesses into their designated spots on the control board. Insert the data port. Plug the wires back into the capacitor. Slide the capacitor back into its groove. Tilt the backsplash upright and insert the tabs into the slots. Push forward to lock it in place. Insert the panel tabs into the slots on the backsplash, then slide it left to secure it. Rethread the two screws. Insert the drain hose back into the wall drain. Reattach the hot and cold water supply lines. Turn on the water supply. Plug in the power. 
and your washer should be ready for use.